I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead I found a girl Beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable state, instituted of God in the time of man's innocency, signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church. This holy estate, Christ adorned and beautified with his presence and first miracle that he wrought in Canaan of Galilee. <clears throat> and Paul commended as being honorable among all men. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these persons present now come to be joined. Zach and Yessi, I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that the commitment of marriage is a commitment of permanence. It is the intent of God that your marriage will be for life and that only death will separate you. If the vows you exchange today be kept without violation, if you seek always to know and do the will of God, your lives will be blessed with His presence and your home 
your home will abide in peace. Zach, will you have this woman to be, be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you honor her, love her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her, so long as you both shall live? I will. And Yessie, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? <laughs> My wife. All right. Give her a hand. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is known as the love chapter of the Bible. I'd ask you to read it from time to time and see how you're doing. It's a good chapter. Love is patient. Who's the most patient? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> love is kind. I'm not going to go through and ask all these now, all right? It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. You both know that marriage takes a lot of work. And Zach, what you need to do from this point on, if you haven't been doing it, is to find out what her dreams and wishes are. See, it, love is not self-seeking. It's not about you today. It's about her. And everything that she wants. <laughs> this wedding is what she wanted and she created all, the, all of it, pretty much. And you just brought it, held it, moved it, whatever she told you to do. But you need to find out what her dreams and wishes are. What does she want to do with her life? And you need to make that happen. Now, Yessie, same thing goes for you. What's his dreams and wishes? What is he desire to be someday? And you help him fulfill that. And see, if you'll both do that, you're concentrating on the other person and not myself. What happens in marriages today? Well, he doesn't make me happy anymore. Well, she doesn't make me happy anymore. It's not about making me happy. It's about helping that person to be happy. And if you'll concentrate on that, you'll be fine. The other thing is, Zach, if you'll treat her, and it won't be hard, she's already got the crown. If you'll treat her like a queen, she'll treat you like a king every time. It's not about me. It's about each other from this point on, okay? It is not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Now, Zach, you and I don't have a memory. We're just not, we just never have a memory. But she remembers everything you do wrong. Okay, that's just what they do. But yes, you can't keep any record of wrongs. Don't go to bed angry. Get rid of all that mess, because most of the time it's not worth anything anyway. It doesn't mean anything. Just treat each other with love, okay? Always trust, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never, ever fails, never fails. Zach, look into those eyes. And repeat after me. Isaac. Isaac. Take you, Yessie. Take you, Yessie. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Which means. Which means. Forever. Forever. <laughs> Yessie, look into his eyes and repeat after me. I, Yessie. I, Yessie. Take you, Zach. Take you, Zach. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. 
to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better and for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poor in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to share it till death us do part to death us part according to god's holy ordinance according to god holy ordinance and thereto and thereto i pledge you my faith i pledge you my faith which means, which means forever. Forever. Your token of love to one another. The rings. The rings. The rings. Their token of love to one another is rings. Rings are symbolic for lots of things. One, they're circular to fit their finger, but meaning that their love is unending and can be from this day forward, and should be. Amen? Amen? The other thing that I think is extremely important is that you need to wear your ring. You need to put your ring on. Now, some of you guys may not be able to put it on because of your work, so you stick that on a chain around your neck or in your nose. I don't care how you want to do it, all right? Then when that bell rings at the end of the day, you put that ring back on your finger. Now, when I have my ring on, this is my wedding band. My wife passed away and we, I put my band with her band and it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but when I touch that ring, who was I thinking of? I was, oh, some of you knew who she was. Wow, <laughs> that, that got me. <laughs> it was, I thought of Linda, okay? At the end of the day, my biggest desire as a husband should be to get home to my wife but it signified that I'm taken. I'm taken. And I'm glad to be taken. I'm in love with my wife and I want to get home to her. And the same thing for the wife. I want to get home to my husband. Amen? Amen. Let's get back to it. Let's pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, for there is no other name that we can come to you by. And we thank you and praise you for this event. As a family, and as friends, and as a congregation that's here today, we will be praying for this couple in the days ahead as they come to our minds and our hearts. We'll lift them up. We'll encourage them and help them to stay on the right path and do what the right thing is, and that's serving you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, honoring you and your word, and being what you want us to be. Bless Zach and Yesi in the name of Jesus Christ. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Take his ring. Zach, as you slip that ring upon her finger, repeat after me. This ring, this ring, I give you, I give you, as a token of my love, as a token of my love, and as a pledge, as a pledge, of my constant, of my constant fidelity, fidelity. Yesi, slip the ring upon his finger and repeat after me. This ring, this ring, I give you, I give you, as a token of my love, as a token of my love, and as a pledge, and as a pledge, of my constant, my constant fidelity. For as much as this man, this woman, have consented in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and the company and have declared the same by joint of hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And everybody said again? Amen. Oh, you did get better, didn't you? It is my privilege and honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Branch. Woo! You want to kiss the bride? <laughs> I found myself dreaming Silver and gold Like a scene from a movie That every broken heart knows We were walking on moonlight And you pulled me close Bye.
breath of relief and I realize Reinventando for Vinny and Senorita, Senora Mr. X. Whisper of smoke You could lose everything The truth is you never know So I'll kiss you longer, babe In a chance that I get I'll make the most of the minutes Alone with no regrets Let's take our time To say what we want Use what we got Before it's all gone It took me like three weeks to find to write that speech down. I lost it. Does anybody see a napkin with like stick figures on it? That's, just kidding. All right, I was hoping Zach would cry a little more during the ceremony so it wouldn't look so bad on me, but bear with me as I get through it. Uh, as they announced earlier, my name is Michael, I'm Zach's cousin. Uh, the last 32 years, he's been a great friend, an awesome cousin. Uh, but more importantly to me, he's been an awesome brother. Uh, I lived with Zach for a good part of my childhood, and that's actually where my best memories are, uh, from fighting in the backyard clubhouse. <laughs> uh, jumping on each other from the top bunk bed, you know, discovering toe cramps in the swimming pool. Remember that on Hancock Street? Throwing up gang signs with our toe was busy. Uh, you know, getting in trouble all those times, we ended up in the same t-shirt at one point, you know, a few times actually. So thank you for not bringing those pictures. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, I even started uh, with my adulthood uh, with Zach in the same house with my other brothers, Todd. CJ's not here, he'll be back though. Uh, now Todd thinks it was him that made Yessie and Beezy have their first kiss in the garage. Uh, but that's not how I remember it. Uh, uh, let's see, I lost my place over here. I see, it wasn't Todd, you know, it was true love. Uh, true love always finds itself in the strangest places, like I mentioned, in a garage full of drunk young adults about 10 years ago. Uh, and that's exactly where love found these two. Uh, true love doesn't find itself right away, but when it does, uh, that's when the magic happens. 
That's when new life and two amazing little girls happens. That's when long-term goals become a priority, and that's when happily ever after gets started. Uh, it's also when you learn to say, yes, ma'am, I'll do the dishes, right? <laughs> All right, so being together 10 years, uh, not really traditional, but when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want to start the rest of your life as soon as possible. Uh, that's why we're all here today to celebrate you and your already 10 years of love and care for your girls and each other and to wish you good health and fortune for the next 100 years. Be easy, my brother. That's where I knew I'd lose it. <laughs> Be easy, my brother. Thanks you for sharing your mom and dad with me and thank you for allowing me to be part of your life with, your, with my new sister-in-law and my two beautiful nieces. Here's to a wonderful wedding day and even more marvelous marriage. Uh, right now, I'm going to ask everyone to stand, if you don't mind. For those of you that still can, you know, I'm almost there. All right, go ahead, charge your glasses if you haven't already, and raise them high. To the newlyweds, loyalty trumps victory. Stay true to each other, and you will overcome all challenges. Congratulations. Buenas tardes a todos. Primeramente, le doy gracias a Dios que todos estamos aquí presentes, estamos con vida y hemos llegado todos a este momento que se casó mi hija. Y le agradezco de yo llegar a esta edad y tener a mi hija aquí a un lado, que la quiero mucho. Y a ustedes que vinieron a visitarme y acompañar a mi hija, se los agradezco de todo corazón. Y a Dios, que todos ustedes estén bien y muchas gracias que vinieron aquí a acompañarnos. Y vamos a brindar, un, tomar un brindis por ella, que sea feliz y que todo el tiempo esté feliz con su esposo y tengan una mejor vida y que los problemas que tengan lo sepan hablar y, y este, resolverlos pacíficamente. Porque ya bien saben que un matrimonio no es fácil y menos en esta edad, que ahora el, el primer capricho, el muchacho o la muchacha se va de la casa, que él no me va a mandar, que yo por qué me voy a dejar, no. El problema tienen que resolverlo, enfrentarlo, platicarlo, y no nomás porque hay un problema, así nomás se van a separar. Tienen que ser unas personas maduras, poco a poco. Por eso las parejas de más antes duraban, porque se comprendían, Tienen que aguantar el carácter de ella y de él, porque no, no se conocen hasta que viven juntos. Cuando están de novios, que muy bonito, pero no se conocen. Ya cuando están en casa, es cuando se conocen su carácter. Y hoy, por desgracia, muchas parejas se, se casan, se divorcian enseguida. Que no, ¿por qué? Que yo, ¿por qué me voy a dejar? Que, ¿por qué va a ser? No, no. Así como se, se juntaron, se casaron, se unieron, deben de sentarse a platicar sus problemas, a resolverlos. No en cualquier capricho se separen y se van con su mamá o con su papá. Por eso más antes las parejas duraban más, porque se aguantaba el carácter de uno al otro y es lo que deben de hacer. Si no, ¿qué vida es esta? ¿Qué ejemplo le vamos a dar a nuestros hijos, a nuestros nietos? Eh, y disculpen, pues es todo lo que les puedo decir y que tengan una feliz tarde y que la pasen bien y gracias a todos muchas gracias gracias a ver, así como hacemos los mexicanos si tienen una copa, para arriba para abajo para el centro y para adentro el amor el amor no se acaba El amor se transforma y se queda en el alma Por amor, por amor se perdona Si es por esa persona no hay errores que valgan Contigo soy más fuerte porque a tu lado yo me aprendí a levantar Puedes ver en mis ojos que nunca voy a dejarte Con la mano en el pecho mi amor hoy mi corazón te quiere cantar Con una y mil canciones tengo algo que preguntarte Cásate conmigo, cásate conmigo Después de tanto tiempo si estamos juntos es el destino Cásate conmigo, cásate 
contigo siempre te hace en mi mente Primera dama y yo soy el presidente Pégate a mí, mi corazón no te miente Un abrazo muy fuerte Puedes ver en mis ojos que nunca voy a 